<laughs> Welcome back. Well that is a huge group here along with uh, Nick Offerman who's going to sing the stretch actor Chicago native and uh, great to have you here Nick and uh, I, I give you a lot of credit and I know you're you're a diehard but uh, to keep everybody here on a day like this that's impressive. Well unfortunately for them we all rode together in a bus. <laughs> so so they, they had no choice. They can't leave until the, the hairy fellow sings as the saying gotcha. goes. Gotcha. But so, you're, you're still going to stick around after you sing. Absolutely. Are you kidding? We've never had seats this good in our <laughs> lives. <laughs> <laughs> well a uh, big fan Nick of your work. Um, Park, uh, uh, rec Parks and Recreation and uh, you've been in movies. You've been in all kinds of good stuff as Brian Dunsing will take over. Um, we were going to let you plug no matter what but especially considering that it's almost six o'clock and you're still here. Uh, you've got something coming up maybe this weekend. Yeah tonight uh, premiering on the Epics Network my wife and I have a comedy special called Summer of 69 No Apostrophe. Okay. <laughs> and I'm in. That yeah, sounds you have, great. You have to give people a minute to do the arithmetic gotcha. on that title. <laughs> Here's Nick Franklin off the bench against Brian Dunsing. And it's one and one. So your favorite Cub growing up? Gosh, it's tough. I, I was always a sucker for, for the redheads, Jody Davis and Keith Moreland. There was a working class uh, integrity to those guys. Sure. They were the, the Manuka citizens of the Cubs. Do you remember your first trip to Wrigley Field? I, I do. I uh, was eight or nine. My folks always did a great job of coming on like Jersey Day or uh, Helmet Day, so we'd always get some cool souvenir. Uh, good, good to have your dad here. Uh, I know he's thrilled that you're going to be singing today. Yeah, it was, it was generous of him to inspect the ball before I tried throwing it before the game. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Three and two, the count. Six three Milwaukee seventh inning. And fouled away. Well, this has been a long time coming for you. I know you've been trying to get this done but your schedule's been so busy. I haven't been able to make it happen. Yeah that my, my pesky uh, showbiz waitress job has been <laughs> keeping me from the friendly confines. And he got him. That's the first out. Let's check out that first pitch. All right, Kerry, give us a, a scouting report on uh, Nick Offerman. Wasting way too much energy already. <laughs> 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 Got to save that energy. Uh oh. Out there with pops. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Got it there in a bounce. That's a waste pitch on the I didn't, I didn't, two. I didn't want to keep it up, you know. Sogard takes a strike. I sneak up on you. The, yeah. sec the second pitch would have been even more surprising. It's a little further than you think when you get out there. <laughs> Bunted. And Dunsing will make the play. We'll get you ready to sing here in a minute, but you know, I know you're really excited, and people can tell by the tone of your voice just how excited you are. Uh, maybe it'd be a better question for your wife, but what's the most excited Nick Offerman gets? Because I've never seen you really get. You'd be good in baseball because you keep that even keel. I do. I uh, I'm I'm not known for for my uh, extemporaneous emoting. <laughs> This is my niece Maggie, by the way. Maggie's going to help you. All right, we're going to get you ready here. Baez makes the play. All right, Nick, I'll grab the headset and we'll get ready to sing.